Swan Lake. First in our story, you must meet Odette. Odette is a princess, but she's not like other princesses, for she lives on a lake, and what's more, she can fly. She's no ordinary princess at all, because, you see, Odette is a swan. Ever since the wicked sorcerer Count Rothbard cast his evil spell on her, she must live her life as a swan, only to become human again at night, when the sun sets and everyone's sleeping. And she must remain this way until she finds true love. Next in our story, you'll meet our prince. His name is Siegfried, and he lives in a magnificent palace overlooking our lake. Every day he wanders around the beautiful grounds of the palace, stopping at the lake to admire the beauty and grace of the majestic swans. And every night he is mesmerised by the haunting song that drifts gently over the water and into his room. But little does he know the voice he hears is that of our beautiful Princess Odette, transformed by moonlight to her human self. And so, on one particular night, he decides he must find its source. Odette, under the cover of night, wanders around the forest that borders the lake. The air is warm, and she sees rabbits and squirrels playing amongst the wildflowers, an owl hooting in the treetop, and a mole burrowing its way into the earth. What she does not see is Prince Siegfried standing by the lake, gazing down, as the water shines like silver in the moonlight. She knows that it will soon be light, and although it saddens her, she must head back to the lake. As she walks nearer to the water, she sees him standing there and tries to hide. But then something catches the eye of the prince, and as he turns to look, his eyes fall upon the most beautiful girl he has ever seen. And right away he knows he has to find out who she is. And this is how Odette came to tell the story of the Swan Maidens and the Swan Princess. Our story is not a happy one, she begins. Many years ago, I lived in a palace far away from here, until one day a wicked sorcerer cast a spell that turned me and my handmaidens into swans. And we can only be human again from sunset to sunrise. When dawn breaks, we are once again imprisoned on the lake. Prince Siegfried is outraged. Who did this to you? Tell me the name of the sorcerer who cast this evil spell, for I shall find him. It is no good, replies Odette, for he is a master of disguise, and you will not find him. So there is nothing I can do, says the prince. You and your friends are destined to be swans forever. Yes, says Odette. Our parents weep, for they know we are lost but the spell can only be broken when I, the Swan Princess, can find true love. My beautiful Odette, says Siegfried, if you must soon once again be a swan, please promise me to return tomorrow night. Tomorrow is the night of the royal ball, and I must announce who will be my bride. Meet me there, and I promise you I will make you my wife, for I have loved you from the moment I saw you. She's quiet for a moment, and then she says, I love you too, dear Siegfried, but I fear that if the sorcerer hears us, he will do all in his power to stop us. The prince moves to put his arms around the beautiful princess, but the first rays of sunlight are upon him. It is morning, and Odette has gone. He turns to the lake, and the elegant swans have returned but he sees there is one more beautiful than the others, wearing a crown of pure spun gold. Meanwhile, in the forest, there is an owl perched on a branch, who has heard every word. The night of the ball has arrived, and the palace is alive with colour. There's delicious food, and all the guests are dancing. Prince Siegfried, as if in a dream, eagerly awaits the arrival of his true love. And then the ballroom doors open, and once more he sees his beautiful Odette. Only she's accompanied by a man, dressed top to toe in black. 
she looks different from the night before. But he realises he had only seen her in the moonlight and she had been dressed in a white gown of purest silk. And tonight her gown is of the deepest, richest red. He's so overjoyed to see her, he doesn't see the swan with a crown of purest spun gold beating her wings against the window. When the dance is over, Prince Siegfried takes the princess to meet the king and queen. Tonight I will announce my bride, he says, and the girl I wish to marry is the beautiful Princess Odette. The man in black steps forward. You will love my daughter with all your heart, your royal highness, says the man. Yes, I will, replies Siegfried, and when his words are spoken, the girl's dress turns to blackest night, and he realises he's been tricked. It is wicked Count Rothbart and his evil daughter. He had disguised her with magic to look like the Swan Princess. Knowing his terrible mistake, Prince Siegfried races to the lake. He finds his beautiful swan at the side of the water. Her crown has fallen from her head, and he realises she is dying. My princess, I have failed you, says the prince as he holds her in his arms. Suddenly Count Rothbart appears behind him. Who are you to think you could beat me, he snarls. You can kill me, replies the prince, for I have lost my true love and I will die with her. As you wish, replies the count, and he draws his sword, and as he goes to kill Siegfried, a dozen swans appear around the prince to protect him. Prince Siegfried reaches for his sword and lunges at the evil count, who's knocked clean off his feet and into the lake, never to be seen again. When the prince looks around him, he sees he is surrounded by eleven beautiful maidens, and there, standing at their centre, in the first rays of sunlight, is Odette, his true love. The spell has been broken, and as the prince takes the hand of his princess, they know they will all live happily ever after. <laughs>